it's almost time to go to bed, but I'm up. I had something on my mind I want to say. It. But I am about to go to bed in a minute. I just got back from eating some shit that I shouldn't probably have ate. So, I'm going to talk about, hmm, let me get that real quick. I'm going to try to prove in this video why men primarily men are stupid for just sleeping around. If you're a man that can pull high value women and you do it, I salute you. I can't even hate on you. But if you're just doing it randomly with women who pretty much only have sex to offer or something like that, you're dumb. But say that shit again. Say that shit again. If you are a man that could sleep around with high quality women, I can't even hate on you. Salute. You. I, I mean, I can't hate on that. But if you're just doing it with random, even women, because you got women who, ladies as players too, go and brush your shoulders off, right? Even the women. If you are somebody doing it with high value men or women, I can't get mad at you. High value men and women also means they have standards, so they're not just fucking anybody, right? But if you're doing this shit with just anybody, I'm about to break some game to y'all real quick. Because men love to say, this is what men will say. Oh, she but She let a guy, she sucked a guy and let him bust all on her and this and that. Nut all over her and all that. You take her back after she cheated. Well, guess what? Genius. What do you think them women are that you are sleeping with randomly? You think that they ain't fucked somebody else before they fucked you? What's the difference? Oh, I get it. You don't kiss them, right? Well, you gotta do something. You you oh uh, you don't eat them out, right? That's the only difference, right? Some of y'all still doing it, right? You got to kiss their body. You got to do something. You got to lick on them or something, motherfucker. Right? Who's to say last night such and such didn't bust a nut on where you're licking at tonight? On her body. But I but I thought that, um, you know, don't take a woman back because she did this and this with her mouth and she did that and all this other shit, right? Ain't that what y'all say? Well, what do y'all think it is? This is why I don't get about men. Y'all say this shit, right? Y'all say this is why you don't take back a cheater, dog. She did this and she did that. But then you go out and sleep with a woman or women who was just with such and such the other night getting nuts busted on her. What's the difference? Make it make sense. This is why I don't agree with sleeping around, dog. I don't care if I'm a man or not. I'm not no dummy. I've sat back and analyzed this shit for a long time. Like, there's no way that that is better than having a solid female. It's not better. The only way I say that um, I, I'll give you a pass is if you got if you're sleeping around with top quality females. You know, like Beyonce's on our level. You know, clean and not all that bullshit. If not that, you you. All that beating on your chest, I'm a pimp and all that, sleeping around with, with low uh, vibration females that, that, that fuck any dude, you want props for that? And then you want to act like that it's, any, that it's different than sleeping with a woman who cheated on you. It's the same fucking shit. You're, you're spending money on a woman who really wants to fuck with another guy and another guy and another guy. It's just like a woman that you have at your home that you spend money on, but she's out fucking other men. What's the difference? Yeah, church in session today. What's the difference? There is no difference. 
for some reason, men have gotten a mind that it's oh, it's okay to sleep with a bunch of women, and it's not. It's not, dog. It sounds nice, but it's not okay. And y'all have fun with that shit. Not me. Not me, because I understand when it comes to females, it's about quality, not quantity. Remember that shit. One special female that is all yours is ten times better than a thousand women that want to that you guys share ten times better for whatever reason though y'all think it's not or you're getting greedy and you think oh but i got this i got the one you're talking about Tuan. i got her at home and then i'm gonna go out and fuck up and you still fuck it up because now check this out this is where the game get deep where rock cat dudes don't get okay you got the you got the you got your Beyonce at home, right? Okay, fine. I'll give you that. But you still want to go out and cheat, right? So what if one of those girls, you know, where you claim that, oh, they put their body on this and that when they cheated, right? So you go out and get head from that girl, right? Then you come home and eventually get head from your girlfriend, Right? Your girlfriend gonna find it weird that you're not kissing her. Maybe y'all tongue kiss all the time. Hmm. Never crossed your mind, huh? Stupid ass shit, man. The whole world thinks it's okay to sleep around and it's really not. At the end of the day, it's just not. It sounds good. I'm a man. It sounds good. Fuck this and this and this. But it's not good. And the only way you should really feel like you the shit is if they top quality women and I don't see that happening with no men around this motherfucker sleeping around you ain't no celebrity y'all sleeping around with a bunch of each other's women sharing women you ain't doing nothing special you could be doing something way different pick a solid woman and then just fucking move on with your life but that's too hard for you though right and then when I say something like this I'm the bad guy even though I'm spitting flame to you letting you know that you're sharing bullshit it's all in your mind. You think you're getting different pussy, but you're really getting some that some shit that you gotta share with a motherfucker. It makes no sense. When you can have a solid ass female, it makes no sense. Same thing with a lot of women. It makes no sense. What does that say? Oh. It makes no sense, man. So back to what I was saying. They act like when they mess when they go out and mess around with other women they act like they not bringing back soul ties and all this other shit to their female or vice versa with a woman it, it, they act like it's okay for them to go out and put their mouth on something it's just stupid man that's why i don't like the world the world the way it is and that's why i don't date and i won't i don't got to date i trust god I feel like my deeds, my good deeds will uh, pay off. They have been so far. Whenever it's time, God will give me what I deserve. Until then, he's going to keep away the bullshit I don't deserve. Right? But either way, man, the point of this shit is when you sleep around with random people, you're basically sleeping with somebody who, uh, it's the same as sleeping with somebody who cheated. It's the same thing. You're sharing a person. You know what I mean? You're sleeping with somebody who don't give a flying fuck about you. They just fucked such and such the other day. He just fucked old girl the other day. He j she just fucked dude the other day. Now you fucking her. What's the difference? Explain. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the difference, man. What's the difference? Y'all know when I put it when I put on these videos, I'm not sugarcoat shit. What's the point? We gotta do better as people, man. All of us. Fuck that sleeping around shit. I don't want no woman to sleep. I'd rather stay single. If I got to deal with a woman sleeping around, it ain't about no insecurity. It's about the safety of my fucking life. The safety of if I have a kid by that woman, which brings me to another point of this sleeping around bullshit. Having a kid by the wrong woman and motherfuckers want to cry about child support all day long, but you just want to fuck anything. At least fuck women that you only consider liking. You know what I mean? Like you consider I might try to be with this one. So if you do get a brain, at least you like the girl. But nah, we just 
we just gonna fuck anybody with because it's pussy and it and it and we still stuck in this 15 year old mindset that makes us think and makes us more of a man how many more women we fuck. That's stupid. And I would never let my son believe that. And my son would not be no soft punk or none of that. I'm not telling him not to uh, talk to girls, but he's going to understand this part. Believe that. If, if I require it from my daughter, I don't want my daughter sleeping around. I want my son sleeping around. I want my son to become a great ass man first. Then you can have any girl in the world, dog. Don't go backwards, though. Don't try to get every girl in the world and then sacrifice your fucking purpose of becoming, shit, maybe a millionaire or something. The world is yours, son. The fuck? It's not happening. But a lot of men, though, they're not going to do that. They want their son to fuck a woman immediately. But then when it's their daughter, oh, it's a problem. I'm, I'm ready to go to prison and shoot somebody. But you telling your son to fuck somebody else's daughter. Man, I, that's off topic, but it, I, it's still about the same thing. Either, anyways, back to what I was saying, y'all. What's the difference between sleeping around with random people and sleeping with somebody who cheats on you or cheated on you? What's the difference? You got to get benefits to uh, usually sleep with somebody. You're going to have to give up something. Your time, something, right? For somebody who share, who makes you share them with other people. Same thing with somebody at home. So a man or woman at home, you got, you give them benefits, your time and all this sacrifice and all that, but they want you to share them with other people. It's no fucking difference, man. And you're taking a chance of catching shit, them bringing you back shit, soul ties and all that shit. Same thing. Same thing. But people out here today will, will have y'all believing that it's better to have quantity of women over a quality woman that's ridiculous quality women ain't easy to come by that's why I say the only way I would salute a guy because I don't want to sound like a hater the only way I would salute a, guy, salute a guy for fucking a lot of women is if they it was all top quality females and we ain't just talking about looks we talking about quality women but that's not going to happen you know why because quality women demand your time. You got to actually step up to the fucking plate and do some shit. You can't just say, ooh, I'm black and I'm a king. It don't work that way. I'm tall and I'm a king. It don't work that way with a top quality female. Everybody can't fuck a top quality female. That's what. I, that's why, that's the beauty of it. Y'all can have the bottom barrels. Nah, I'm a king. So I want a queen. Period. That's how women should think. If you think you're a queen, why are you dealing with bottom feeder motherfuckers putting their dick in everybody? Does that sound like a fucking king to you? Or do you think men like this don't exist? You think men don't have standards? Who the fuck lied to you? It's just who you dealing with. That's all. That would be like me in this video right now saying all women fuck er almost any any man can fuck almost er all women. It's easy for any man to fuck with any woman. That's bullshit. Every woman ain't coming off of that shit like that because she knows her value and her worth. Plain and simple. And that's the type of woman I, or women I would want to fuck with. That way I ain't got to worry about fucking sticking my shit in shit that everybody else is fucking with. And that's why I become a high value man to separate myself from that pack. So I'm entitled to that because I know a lot of other men ain't willing to put in that work when it comes to self-improvement and when it comes to getting the girl in the first place. Oh, hell no. Nah, she too hard, man. She reading them books and shit. And nah, she is. Nah, I'm good. I'll take this easy one. I'll take the one that calls me a king just because I'm tall. Or, you know what I'm saying? I don't even want to say king. Should I say treat me like a king? Because some people might just call you king I respect, which is a good thing, right? But we talking about the ones that just treat a man, put him on a pedestal for no fucking reason. Just like men do women. No reason. She's on a pedestal for nothing. What'd she do? Oh, she looks good. Pedestal. Nah, fuck that. That don't make her a high value female. She can look good and sleep with everybody. 
Plus, not only that, her sex could be garbage too. That's another thing. Why men shouldn't put just looks on a fucking pedestal. Y'all think, oh, she looks good. Her sex must be good. We know that's some bullshit. That ain't always the case. So why even bother with it? Why even go there in your mind with it? Why not see who the woman really is instead of just putting her on a pedestal because she looks good? Fuck around and do all this shit and then you fucking, you ain't even happy. Kind of like a woman who thinks a man's perfect then she find out that motherfucker ain't holding shit down there. Salty than the motherfucker. Like, damn. This motherfucker had me go home and fuck myself with my vibrate. <sighs> Telling y'all, dog, it's the same shit, man. Do not get caught up in this shit, man. I understand everybody likes attention and shit, but a lot of relationships have ended because of this attention shit, man. The moment a motherfucker think they really not happy with somebody, and then they got all these people in their face, that's all it takes. You know the devil coming. You know the devil coming. Devil don't want two people together at some point because these two people together, who are uh, happy at least seem like it. They they're not out hurting people. So the devil needs to distract them, have one hurt each other, so then I can hurt them too in the process by separating them, and then I can use maybe I can use the cheater out in the world to hurt people. Devil don't want nobody, no two people together happy and not cheating and shit. He don't want that shit, but God do. That's what God want. But we live in an evil ass world. So that's what what do you see? Cheating, lying, everybody fucking everybody. It is what it is, man. Just watch, just dodge this shit. Cause uh you don't want to be a victim of this shit. I'm telling you right now, you don't want you don't want that smoke. Believe that. I don't. I don't want that child support smoke. I don't want that divorce smoke. Fuck that, man. That's why I want a, a quality, a high quality female, not a woman that that will fuck any. Oh, oh, he looks so handsome. I fuck. I'm. I want to fuck him. You know, just wondering eyes every fucking where. Who wants a woman that another man can fuck? Who? Why? So when you sleeping around. You know, casually getting to know motherfuckers. Same thing. You're fucking a woman that somebody else has fucked or can't fuck. I don't want that. For various reasons. Because I'm a fucking king, man. I know my worth. Plain and simple. It makes me no different than the next motherfucker if I'm willing to just fuck anybody. You are who you lay with. Think about it. Why would you lay with something that you don't feel you are? Makes no sense. But you know, like I said, as men, we've been programmed to believe that the more women you fuck, the higher value you, you are. And women even put this in. Women actually, by default, support this shit. Because the more the men are out fucking the motherfuckers, the more they like them. The more you come home, handle your business, you know, go to work, maybe uh, go to the gym, come home, do a project or something. They think nobody wants you or something. When really, you just don't want no part of that bullshit out in that world. That's it. That don't mean nobody don't want you. Or if you're if you're um, if you're faithful to them, they think nobody wants you. Or if you're kind, you know it's crazy. And it's not just women, men too. People take your kindness for weakness and shit. But anyways, I'm off this motherfucker, man. When you sleep around with people, you basically sleeping with a cheater, dog. And t I wish somebody would comment on the um, section and tell me what's the difference. Because there is none. What's the difference? It's the same fucking thing, man. Only difference is, okay, they didn't hurt you by cheating on you. That's about it. But they could hurt you. They could set you up in a hotel. It's going to get ugly at some point. Somebody going to get mad when you fucking just people, it don't just rare. It never just goes smoothly and y'all just go away. It's rare, especially if you keep fucking each other. Somebody getting fucked up in this situation. One way or the other. Why would I, as a man, why would I want to spend all this time on this manipulation and lie. Because that's the only way you can have a lot of women to, to fuck. You can't be straight up. Because they're going to they gonna sense that. They're going to want time. Some of them going to want time with you. So you're going to have to start lying and deceiving. Which is some bullshit. 
And that takes time and effort and energy that you could be putting on your fucking purpose. That's why it's better to have a one, a one woman that actually helps you with your purpose, might I add. It's like men are acting like women ain't worth nothing. Same thing with the women. They act like men is it's a lost cause. Like like men ain't worth shit. If it's the right man that want to be a real... And when I say right man, it's a choice. Don't get it twisted. It's a choice. We all could be a right man. How many of us want to be? Because, you know, you, you'll have people feel offended by what I'm saying in this video. Oh, I'm, I'm offended. Fuck that nigga. No, I ain't saying nothing was wrong with you. You got put. You got the same opportunity as the next motherfucker to be the right man. Just like when you have a kid, you got the same opportunity as the next motherfucker to put sperm in somebody to be a dad. If you want to be the right man, that's your choice. If you don't, that's your choice. But we act like this is a lost uh, cause. It don't exist. It does exist. We just don't see it as much because most motherfuckers ain't been that. And we not picking those type of people that want to be that. And a lot of that has to do with ourselves. We got to look at ourselves. Once we start becoming these good women and men, we demand it from people. We don't want nothing less. To me, man, it's even worse. I think it's kind of, I ain't going to say it's worse, but every time you have, if you sleeping around, every time you have sex with somebody, it's the same thing as sleeping with a fucking cheater, man. Because you could try to say, well, maybe the two people are just fuck buddies and they don't fuck nobody else. Eh, maybe. But what's the odds of this shit happening? What's the odds of that shit happening? Seriously. They don't want no relationship or nothing. They just want to fuck each other. And even if that's the case, somebody going to find somebody or leave or something, want to fuck somebody else. Now you hurt still. Same thing. It's kind of like getting left by a cheater. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing, y'all. Hey, man, I got to go, man. I got to get to bed, though. But, yeah, man, I thought about that shit today. Like, you know what? All these men talk ramping and raving about, you know, don't take a woman back or after she cheat. Everybody busting nuts on her and all this and all that. What the fuck do you think it, they, this shit is when you fuck with these women? Random women, dog. You think motherfuckers ain't busting nuts on them? Same thing with y'all women, vice versa. And then don't give me that bullshit about, well, I protect myself and, and I got a woman at home. Yeah, and you letting that girl suck your dick, and she you, she coming home, your girlfriend gonna suck your dick. And now she now you kissing your girlfriend, and the from the mouth of that woman that you don't even know where the fuck she been. Yeah, stop this shit, bro. Y'all ain't ready for the game. Y'all not ready for this octane game. But I'm gonna keep dropping it on motherfuckers. I love this shit. Yeah, I'm out of here, man. Y'all have a good night, man. When you do good, good shit happens. We've been programmed to do evil. Now, I'm not an angel, but I understand. If I do good, good things happen. I do bad, bad shit happening. Plain and simple. That's how life works. No way around it. So try to do good and you will reap good things in life, man. That's what it's all about, man. We're not perfect, but we know right from wrong. I know the rap, I know the rap music tell me to fuck every woman in the world. I get it. But hey, I'm a leader. I'm not a follower. I listen to it for entertainment, but I'm a leader, not a follower. You see what I'm saying? Just because every other man fucking around don't mean it's a good idea. That don't mean I don't have to fight it as a man. Because you're a man. It sounds good. You're a woman. It sounds good to get a bunch of attention from other guys. Random dick from other guys. But think about the consequences of that. Weigh the pros and the cons of you not doing it versus you doing it. And you tell me which one's better in the end. Which one do you want to be? You want to be the woman that can actually still get a, a husband and shit that ain't been fucked by everybody and defiled mentally and all this shit, baby dads and shit? Or do you want a more, way more clean slate because you chose the right path other than your girlfriends who thought it was better that, oh, let me try his dick. I wonder how he fucks and this one and that one. And nine times out of 10, it ain't even fucking worth it. So why even do it? And on another note before I leave, man, have uh, sleeping with random people, it's n it's no comparison to sleeping with a person you care about. But what happens a lot of times is, if, especially if you get cheated on, the person that you care about don't see this. They think it's just all about sex. You know what I mean? That's why they I don't matter if I fuck somebody else. You know they don't see that you want to be faithful to them by choice. They think nobody else wants you or something like that. 
You know, I don't I don't agree with that. I think, man, like I said, man, it me it's better to be pleased and to please somebody I care about than some rant. It feels empty. It don't feel like nothing, man. It just doesn't. When if you sleep with a random person, to me it feels empty. I don't feel shit. I'm not saying I don't feel shit, like it don't feel good, but it's not the same. It's no comparison to sleeping with a woman that I want to sleep with, that I know her her body, I know where her body been. And since y'all motherfuckers don't like wearing rubber so fucking much, that's a benefit when you fuck with a woman that's actually yours. I don't get it. Why the fuck would you leave this woman at home that's perfect to you, right? And you don't have to wear a rubber, but you're going to go out and sleep with somebody who slept with who knows what, and you got to wear a rubber. How does it even feel better? What makes you think in your mind that that feels better? It's not even close. So why would you even do it? Same thing with the women, vice versa. Because I know that you, I know y'all have to have some type of connection to sleep with a man, right? Most women, about ninety-five percent. So why would you sleep with a stranger? It makes no sense to me. But hey, I can't speak for everybody. All I know is high-quality women don't. Because you're not pulling no high-quality women like that. She's not gonna let you fuck like that. You would have to be a fucking celebrity crush, maybe. But high quality women ain't past, ain't fucking you like that. Neither is no high quality man. That's facts. I know you don't believe that. I know. You think, oh, no, that's, he's a man. He gonna fuck that first night. I don't know about that. You might have to catch him on some night where he's super, he ain't had none in a long time and he's single and maybe, maybe, you know, I can see that. But definitely not no high quality woman. She, I'm, I don't think so. It would have to be absolutely perfect timing. For her to do that. She's not just letting anybody fuck. And he's not just high quality men. All this I'm high quality. I'm I'm special. Part of being a special man is not fucking everybody. Period. It's okay. It's a difference between being a man that everybody wants and a man that every uh, being a man that a lot of women want, meaning high quality, and being a man that a lot of women can have. When I say have, that means they can actually have you. See, so y'all like to shit on women. Oh, you see anybody can. She's a jump off dog. Anybody can have her. But when it come to you, it don't count. It's okay for you to be passed around, right? No, nah, it's not okay, man. It's not. I know it seems like it because we men, but it's not okay. Weigh the pros and the cons, just like I told the women just a minute ago. Weigh the pros and the cons from sleeping around with women and not sleeping around. You come back and tell me which one's better. And, and don't forget the purpose part. Don't forget the time that it takes to sleep with a bunch of women versus one solid ass woman that's probably get her hustle on and will help you with yours too. And if you have a kid, you already know you're good. You ain't got to worry about her random men in and out of the house because she chooses a high quality. Part of being a high quality woman is choosing a man correctly, choosing the right man. They might fuck up. I'm not saying they won't, but at least they go through the steps of it. They don't just, oh man, every week they got another boyfriend. Nah, not with no high quality woman. I don't see that. And a high quality woman, if y'all break up, there won't be just some guy that just mysteriously he's there. Or a bunch of other niggas. They just mysteriously there and y'all just broke up yesterday. Nah, a high quality woman don't move like that because she actually cared about you, which is part of being a high quality woman. All these things matter. It ain't just looks, right? So therefore, if y'all break up, she's going to need time alone to herself. She's going to be hurt from that because she really cared. It's the ones that already got motherfuckers on deck. That's not a high quality woman. That's a woman who already ready to jump to the next motherfucker. And they're going to do it to the next motherfucker too. I'm out this bitch, man. Y'all don't get it. Yeah. Guess y'all never will, man. Damn, this motherfucker will not.